Hi, my name is Marco Cantu. I'm the Delphi product manager at Embarcadero Technologies, and I want to show you how easy is it to get going with uh, Delphi for Linux uh, development. What I've done here was just creating a um, console application using file, new, other, and picking a console app for Delphi. What I can also do here is add a 64-bit Linux as a target platform. But before I can build and deploy the application, I need first to have a, a virtual machine and I have one for Ubuntu, which is actually already configured at this point. And the other thing, I need to install PA server on Linux, the platform assistant server. To do that, I'm going to use a WinSCP, which is a very powerful application for managing remote files on a Linux box. I'm going to show you how you can deploy and start using Ubuntu as a target for your Delphi development. What I'm using here is WinSCP and I'm just simply dragging the um, package for the Linux PA server to the device, to the Linux device, and then execute that tar -gzip, uh, un untar ungzip operation locally. So without having to do any command on the Linux side, I'm copying the files to the location and I'm making those files um, available. Uh, so the only command you have to do on your Linux box is actually to start a PA server on the uh, machine and then eventually type in a password. Uh, at this point, you can go to the RAS Studio 10.2 IDE and there you can go to the uh, environment options and first you need to configure the connection to the Linux box under in the connection profile manager. I uh, just have to enter a name, pick Linux and then enter the IP address of the machine. If you don't remember the IP address, you can use I on the PI server and get the specific um, IP address that the PI server is bound to. So now you type that in, the, you can test the connection. When the connection is done, the next step is to import the SDK. So you can go to the SDK manager. I already have one configured there for Android and now I'm adding another one for 64-bit Linux. Through a connection, it picks the target operating system version. So just press OK and wait a bit. I'm just cutting this a little shorter than it is, but it just takes a minute and you'll be able to get the header files important for the libraries on Linux that we are going to use uh, when building our applications. Now this is done and I already have in the background a very simple uh, right line console application. So now we can just build it and we're building on the local machine. But then after building, we can also uh, run or debug remotely on the Linux box. And here is our result.